Hey guys, Joe Tunney at Infinity of Kirkland here in Kirkland, Washington, just outside of Seattle. For those of you around the country and beyond, taking a look at us on eBay or cars.com or Auto Trader and the like, we have something a little bit different here. This is a 2012 Honda Cross Tour all wheel drive with about 20,000 miles on it. The reason this one's a little bit different is there's a funny story on this one that shows an accident on the Carfax. And in your mind, I only want you to visualize this car as having an accident on the Carfax to believe a used car salesman is a recipe for disaster. But I want to show you this car anyway because the folks who traded it in swear up and down that this car was never in an accident. There was a three car something or other that happened at some point in the past and the car was barely touched, a little bit of airbrush and it was on its way. However, on the Carfax, it says that the car was towed away from the accident and according to the prior owner, that was far from the case. So we're gonna look and see with our own eyes if we can tell the truth one way or another, but I'm not trying to sell around the fact that this car shows that A, there was an accident on the Carfax and B, the car was towed away. What I wanna show you is how using Carfax as a point of reference can be a scary proposition because it is so often wrong and I think we'll discover in the case of this car, it's very, very wrong. So a car like this, we're just gonna send it to the auction. We know the market's very, very strong for low mile, full load, all wheel drive Japanese vehicles. We're gonna get a lot of money for this car. We already know that. However, if there is somebody who says, listen, I'm ready to, with an open mind and, and open eyes and open ears, uh, see if there's a chance for me to steal a car here that's gonna be a great car for me for a long time. I'm happy to, to listen in, and if you'd like to get a buyer's inspection at the local Honda store or anywhere you please, we're happy to accommodate. The most important thing is that you feel comfortable that everything that you're being trolled uh, isn't a bunch of BS, that it's the real factual information, and if you want to corroborate that with the Honda dealer or anybody else, we're definitely happy to be a part of that. We know if you take the car to the Honda store, they're going to try and pitch you their cars as well, and believe me, we're totally okay with that. We think that this car is a unique proposition and something that stands alone. I'm going to pop the hood on this car. Now this is just traded in, so I don't want to wash it, I don't want to do anything. I, I want you to see it just as we saw it, and then you can come to your own conclusions if it's something that you're interested in moving forward to if the price is right. So on this one, the first thing that we see is the clear bra. And so 3M uh, company has a product called clear bra. A lot of people like to put it on the front of their car to protect against rock chips. And this car has the 3M clear bra product. One thing we like about it though, is that when we see the, the texture of it, the color, it, it has its uh, own life expectancy as far as the coloration. And whenever you see one that's vividly shiny on one panel and very dull on another, you know that that panel has had that part of it replaced. When it's a consistency uh, from one side to the other, yeah, maybe the whole car was smashed in an accident. It says on the car fax it was towed away. So maybe it was all replaced at the same time. But this clear bra, although it looks a little bit older to my eyes, that might actually be a good thing. It might indicate originality. Now I'm gonna pop the hood. Whether it's a Honda or a Bentley, they're all the same. All manufacturers do the same thing. They always have a shiny paint on the outside, dull paint on the inside. Dull here, they call that a matte finish paint. And so the uh, if I look, I know these tabs are fairly well secure in here. But if I look at this uh, fender, this fender actually looks completely original. And then I've got my original VIN sticker, so I know the hood is original. And then these screws have never been turned that hold this to the architecture. And so, so far so good. This car looks, uh, looks all right. If I go to the other side, same thing. Everything looks just as it's supposed to. And then the screws have obviously never been turned. So, I feel pretty confident that the front end of this car is the original front end and that uh, nothing so far has gone wrong in this car's uh, brief lifespan. Coming around to the side, there's no imperfections in the paint. There's a concept called fish eyes where when a car is repainted, there's little particulates that get underneath the paint and then the paint will uh, rise up and kind of blister a little bit. There isn't any of that. The curve here feels nice and smooth. The, uh, if you're interested in how to uh, evaluate a car, uh, we have videos that uh, show you how to tell if a car's been in an accident, and they tell you the significance of feeling this curve right here. If I walk around to the side, the original VIN sticker is still in place, so I know that the door is original. And then the million dollar screw, as we call it in the business, is this one that's impossible to airbrush because of its uh, kind of uh, 
tight location right there. So whenever I see this is original, that's actually a good sign. Continuing on around, original VIN sticker and original VIN sticker for the fender as well. And then as I open up the uh, trunk, everything seems nice and original. No screws turned on the top. Original VIN sticker in the back as well. So I know that this is original. So not only is the hood original, the doors are original, and the trunk is original. I'm cutting, kind of running out of car for there to be accident on. Everything looks completely original. And my customer who traded this vehicle in, their story is starting to uh, look a little bit more uh, corroborated by the evidence. Inside, we love these VIN stickers. They really tell you a lot. The VIN sticker, VIN means vehicle identification number. When a car is built, uh, they don't know which panel is going to which car until the car is finally assembled. And so uh, when they keep parts at the factory, replacement parts or what have you, uh, a, a manufacturer has to keep parts readily available for any product for 10 years after sale. And so they'll warehouse a bazillion fenders and doors and what have you, but they don't know what car it's going to, so it doesn't have a VIN sticker. And it's against the law to uh, put VIN stickers on panels, and they're very, very difficult to reproduce. If you know anything about VIN stickers, uh, they're used by the government to protect against chop shop cars or illicit trade, and so uh, they make them very, very difficult to monkey around with. So when you see original VIN stickers on every single panel, well, you just know that panel's never been replaced. And then if I look at the door here, again, original VIN sticker, and then I look at the uh, screw that holds this fender in, the million dollar screw on the passenger side, again, it's never been turned. And so this car looks outstanding. If you're picking up a little bit of uh, confusion here on the paint, it's because we're just getting a tiny bit of drizzle. If you may have heard, it does rain here a little bit in Seattle. I'm gonna come inside and take a peek in there. Now, inside, it's great. It's loaded. It has an electric moonroof, leather interior, heated seats, uh, a CD changer, and then a, a DVD drive for the navigation unit, and it has navigation as well. It's in excellent condition on the interior, given that the car's dirty. It hasn't even been through a car wash yet. And so, should we ultimately keep this car, we could recondition it right back to what we would uh, consider our standard for our Infinity Certified Program. If we keep a car, it doesn't matter if it's Infinity or not, we kind of have one protocol that we do for every single car. We always do wipers, filters, lube oil filter. Now you say, hey, I don't want to do that. I want to keep the cost down. I want to get a buyer's inspection at the Honda dealer. If they say the thing checks out, I'm ready to move forward. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a deal on that. If you say, no, I, I want you guys to do your standard protocol that you do. I want it detailed. Uh, I want this thing first class and, and game ready. Yeah, whatever you want. Uh, that's what we're here for. It's a car that's going to go to the auction anyway. It's not our typical uh, piece of inventory. So if you want to go in a different direction, we can It's do it any way that you feel like doing it. And again, you can still finance it. It's not like it's salvage title or lemon law or anything like that. It just says on the car facts that there's an accident and the folks who traded it in say there's not. And so we can hammer that out with car facts. I don't know how long that takes. It may never change. So that's why I have to sell the car as if it were an accident. However, with a little due diligence and a little homework, you might discover a real opportunity here. If you have any questions, my name's Joe Tunney here at Infinity of Kirkland. I've been here for 10 years. I'm actually the junior manager of the dealership. Everybody else has been here since the store opened in 1997. We're a family-owned store. We sell more cars than any Infinity dealer in the region. We have no interest in trying to screw you up or misrepresent anything. And so we want you to experience what it is to be comfortable in a smooth, transparent uh, kind of uh, deal. If you want anybody to come look at the car, an independent, whomever you please, Please, we want you to be comfortable and happy. Email me anytime at joetinfinityofkirkland.com. Call me anytime. My cell phone number is in my pocket right now. It's 425-894-8230. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.